depth of field blur effect. Welcome to this tutorial on using the depth of field blur effect. This powerful tool allows you to enhance the realism of your scenes and guide the viewer's focus by controlling what elements are sharp or blurred. Whether you're working on architectural visualizations, product renders, or presentations, mastering this effect can elevate your designs to the next level. Open your 3D design software and either create a new project or select an existing one to work with. Switch to the split view mode to see both the 2D floor plan and the 3D rendering simultaneously. This helps you visualize how changes affect both perspectives. Identify the portion or objects where you want to apply the depth of field blur effect. Use the selection tools to highlight these areas. Navigate to the Rendering menu under the 3D settings. This is where you'll find the options to adjust the blur effect. Select Photo Rendering Options to access advanced rendering settings that include the depth of field blur effect. Here, you can adjust the rendering time limit, post effects, and other parameters. Focus on setting the depth of field blur effect. Choose the desired blur intensity. For this example, We'll start by setting it to no blur to see the baseline effect. Click the OK button to apply the current settings and return to the main interface. Go to the rendering menu and select render preview. This will give you a quick preview of how the scene looks with the applied settings. If you're satisfied, you can proceed to render final for a high quality output. After rendering, observe the final output. With no blur, the entire scene appears sharp and detailed, as shown here. Return to the rendering options and change the depth of field blur effect to high. This will create a pronounced blur effect, drawing attention to specific focal points. Set the blur level to high and confirm your choice by clicking OK. Select Render Preview once more to see the updated results. This time, you'll notice a noticeable difference in depth and focus. The rendered scene now shows a strong depth of field, with certain elements sharply in focus while others are artistically blurred, creating a more realistic and visually appealing composition. By saving both versions, with no blur and high blur, you can easily compare the differences. The high blur effect enhances the sense of depth and directs the viewer's attention to key areas of interest. That's it. You've successfully used the depth of field blur effect to enhance your 3D designs. This technique not only adds realism, but also helps guide the viewer's eye to the most important parts of your scene. Green Region Tool Where Nature Meets Precision Welcome to this tutorial on using the Green Region Tool in your 3D design software. This powerful tool allows you to add realistic natural elements like vertical grass and ground cover to both 2D and 3D environments, enhancing the detail and realism of your landscape designs. Whether you're working on architectural visualizations or landscaping projects, mastering this tool can significantly elevate your designs. Open your 3D design software and either create a new project or select an existing one to work with. Navigate to the Landscape menu and select the Green Region tool. This will allow you to define areas where you want to apply natural elements. Use the drawing tools to outline the area where you want to apply the green region. This could be a lawn, garden bed, or any other natural space around your structure. Once the green region is drawn, the settings panel will appear on the right side. Here, you can adjust parameters such as growth density, width, height, and tilt variance to customize the appearance of the vegetation. Increase the growth density to make the vegetation appear denser and more lush. This setting controls how many plants are generated within the defined area. Define the size of the plants by adjusting the width and height settings. This ensures that the vegetation fits well within the designated space and looks proportionate. Adjust the tilt variance to give the plants a natural, slightly uneven look. This adds depth and realism to the scene. As you make adjustments, the changes will be reflected in real time in the 3D view. This allows you to see how the vegetation interacts with the rest of the design. Choose between vertical grass or ground cover styles to suit your specific needs. 
Each option offers different visual effects and uses. Explore the material library to select various types of grass, flowers, or other plant species. This adds diversity and enhances the overall aesthetic of your design. If needed, duplicate the green region and modify its settings to create variations across your landscape. This helps maintain consistency while adding visual interest. Continue refining the settings until you achieve the desired level of detail and realism. Pay attention to how the vegetation complements the architecture and surrounding environment. Once satisfied with your green regions, proceed to render the scene. The final output will showcase the enhanced realism and natural beauty of your design. Take a moment to review the rendered scene. Notice how the green regions seamlessly integrate with the rest of the design, creating a cohesive and visually appealing landscape. That's it. You've successfully used the Green Region tool to add realistic natural elements to your 3D designs. This tool not only enhances the visual appeal of your landscapes, but also helps you create more immersive and detailed environments. LuxCore High Resolution Rendering Export Using LuxCore for exporting high-resolution 3D images allows you to produce photorealistic visuals suitable for presentations, portfolios, or client reviews. By following these steps, you can customize resolution, rendering quality, and output settings to meet your specific needs. First, launch the application and create your project or pick a sample project. Next, select the 3D rendering mode from the 3D menu. Then, choose the Render Final Quality option under 3D Rendering, which is located in the 3D menu. It will take a few seconds to render your project in 3D. Once the 3D rendering is complete, select 3D Image from the Export option under the File menu. The next window will display export options, where you can choose your desired settings for your 3D rendering. You can export your 3D project in 2K, 4K, or 8K resolution. Additionally, you can input custom values for width and height, but the maximum width allowed is 7,680 pixels and the maximum height is 4,320 pixels. Adjust the rendering time as needed. After selecting your desired settings, click OK and a new window will appear. Here, you will need to specify the location and name for your 3D file. Once you've done this, the file export process will begin and will take some time to render. The duration depends on the size you selected for export and the rendering time you set in the Export Options window. After some time, the file will be exported successfully and you can find it in the specified location with the name you provided during the export process. Congratulations! You have successfully exported a high-resolution 3D image using LuxCore. This process enables you to create stunning visuals for presentations, portfolios, or client reviews. Welcome to this tutorial on using physically based rendering, PBR, materials in our design software. PBR materials help you create highly realistic surfaces, making your 3D renders look professional and lifelike. In this video, I'll walk you through how to access, manage, and apply PBR materials step-by-step. Step. You'll also learn how to use texture maps like Normal, Roughness, and Alpha to enhance surface detail and realism. First, launch the application and either create a new project or open an existing one. This will be the foundation for applying PBR materials. Next, split the view into 2D and 3D modes. This allows you to see both the floor plan and the 3D model simultaneously, making it easier to apply materials accurately. On the right side of the interface, open the material palette. This is where you'll find all the available materials, including the PBR textures. In the material palette, you'll see all the imported or installed content packs. These include a wide range of PBR materials that you can use to enhance your designs. Choose any installed PBR material from the palette. Right-click on the material to access additional options. From the right-click menu, select Manage PBR Maps. This opens the PBR Material Manage window, 
where you can assign and remove maps such as Normal, Roughness, Specular, Alpha, and Bump. In the PBR Material Manager, assign the appropriate maps to your material. For example, you might assign a normal map to add surface detail, a roughness map to control reflectivity, and so on. Once you've assigned all necessary maps, click the OK button to confirm. After managing the PBR maps, return to the Material palette and select the updated material. Drag and drop it onto the surface of your 3D model where you want to apply it. The process may take a few seconds as the software processes the material. Once applied, the PBR material will transform the surface, adding realistic details and enhancing the overall visual quality of your model. You can adjust the material further if needed. If you need to change the material on a surface, simply select a different PBR material from the palette and drag it onto the desired surface. This allows you to experiment with various textures until you achieve the desired look. Thank you for watching this tutorial on using PBR materials in our design software. By following these steps, you can significantly enhance the realism and professionalism of your 3D models. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to check out our support resources or leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. See you in the next video.